morning, PRHS. Today is Friday, November 15th, and welcome to PRHS Today. I'm Alexander Mitchell. And I am Gavin Rayom. This morning's weather is looking at like a crisp 36 degrees Fahrenheit, with a high of around 46 degrees. Pretty, like, not too much of a discrepancy. Still pretty chilly. So it seems that we are getting into coat weather. Going into Thanksgiving and everything, getting ready for winter. Yeah, it makes sense. Christmas, December is right around the corner. Yep. Yeah. And anyway. with that, we have the Grammys. Yes, the Grammys. I like some of the nominees. Not Like Us is definitely going to sweep most of the things it's in. It should, at least. It, it yeah. should. Some interesting album of the year nominees this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Don't know how Andre 3000 got in there. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a first of some sort. Yeah, uh, like a fully non-lyrical album. That's going to be a first of the Grammys. Yeah. I don't think it's going to win. But yeah, but and then again, there's not really any good nominees, in my opinion. There's all not them... any, you know, horrible ones either, though. Yeah, but they're all very mediocre. Every, all of them, yeah. Yeah, Every I don't single know. one of them. Didn't Kendrick drop an album? Uh, I don't think I, I don't think he dropped an album. He might not have. Uh, anyway, today's broadcast is looking like a fairly short one, as we ha only have two actual segments this week. The first one, of course, being our bi-weekly interview, this time with Mr. Fraser and the captain of the eSports team. David Kaiser, right? Yes, yes, David Kaiser. And right after, we will have the sports segment. And then, with no further delays, on to a pursuit of knowledge of Mr. Frazier with Mitch. Thank you, Mitch. And now we have uh, David Kaiser and Mr. Frazier here for the eSports team. Uh, how has the eSports team done so far? Done pretty well. So far, having no losses, all wins in our games. That's good. Yeah, we are ranked 10 out of 125 teams. That's really good. Is it a divisional? Yes, it's the east. It's basically all the east, eastern side of the U.S. So, so you have pretty good competition. We do. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Trajan, how do you feel about being the manager of you know a fairly new team? Um, well, I wasn't really sure what to do in the beginning, so I went online, did some research to figure out how to manage an esports team at a high school. Found some really helpful information from a website called Play Versus, and that's basically what we're using as a platform to compete and go against other teams in the area. And David, how does it feel to be the captain of this team? Um, I've been running a team already for a different game for like three years now, so I just went right into it already knowing a lot of what I needed to do. And uh Again, David, uh, why and how should college students join the team? If you're ever interested in joining the team, just email me, david 25 Kaiser at Perry Baker or Mr. Fraser, and we can send you a link to the Discord server where we hold all of our practices and talk That's true. and plan events. Uh, Mr. Fraser, what games do you play currently and plan to play in the future? So right now we are just focusing on Rocket League for this, uh, for fall. For spring, we will be introducing Super Smash Brothers and continue Rocket League. Um, I would like to next year uh, see what interests there are for other games. There are many other games on this Play Versus platform that we can utilize. I just need to get a consensus from the students here on what games they would like to play. Yeah. And could you explain like the scoring and how ranking works at your competition, you know, this shows and such? So it's all based on how many wins you have. So in one season, we might have play 10 different games. And if you win, you know, 9 out of 10, you're a higher rank than if somebody, if they lose, you know, every single game. So it's all done by ranking on how many wins you have and how many scores you have and stuff like that. And then those those wins are broken down into each event, which is based on five, max five games, because it's first to three to win. Right, yeah. So each game, when you play an opponent in Rocket League, you play best out of five. So each game, you can have three games or four games or whatever, and then the overall, whoever wins overall, that score gets added to our score globally in play versus. Okay. Uh, yeah, when, when do you guys practice? Um, we always practice. Um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays from seven to eight thirty. Okay. So. And do you do like do you do any practice individually here? Yeah, we always do a lot of like we always do individual practice offline, but then we always do a little bit to just warm ourselves up 
with a little bit of training packs and then some 1v1s before we do actual team practice. Okay. Uh, Mr. Frazier, what have been your opponents so far this season? Um, many different schools, uh, all on the East Coast of the U.S. I couldn't tell you exactly which schools they are. Um, but there, I've seen some technical call, some technical high schools. I've seen regular high schools like ours where they have a technical side and a normal academic side. So it's been a really mixed bag of various high schools all around the same, uh, all in the East Coast of the U.S. Uh, this one's for either of you. What do you think your toughest opponent has been so far this year? We haven't really. Uh, yeah. Probably the one today. <laughs> yeah. I would say. So far, we've been just destroying everybody. Who are you playing today? Um, we're playing second place in the championship. Um, they are from Indiana. Yeah. And Chris. they are ranked number two right now. Yeah. Two of each here. So, yeah. Uh, lastly, uh, who are your current members? So we have David Kazar as our captain. captain. We have Royce. Um, and then we have Tanner Weddington as the three. It's a three-team, three-person team. Yeah. Is there a specific place you get to hold your tournaments and events and such? So we are, like I said, we use Play Versus as a platform to play on. That is an online platform. Um, so the students are able to play at home in their comfortable environment with their own computers and devices. Um, we all we also play with NHIAA, and that is a tournament that's happening December fourteenth in Southern New Hampshire University. That is for that's only for the schools in New Hampshire area. Okay, it's like New England, or is it just New Hampshire? New Hampshire, just New Hampshire. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys both, uh, and we'll give it back to Gavin and Mitch in the studio. Thank you, Mitch. Now then. We gotta take a look at what our sports teams have been up to. On to Lady Ruby, first of her name of the Clarkson family, with our sports for the week. Thank you, Mitch. Now, there hasn't been a lot going on here with sports at Plymouth, but we do have some big news here at Plymouth Regional High School. In cross country, Ellie England came 38th out of 253 runners, 10th for New Hampshire runners, with a time of 19 minutes and 17 seconds. It was a challenging course, and Ellie also made it to New England, which is being held in Connecticut, so good luck, Ellie. Then moving over to our cheer team, Sunday, November 10th, our cheer team made it to the state championships, which was held at Pinkerton Academy, and they had an outstanding routine, and all of their hard work paid off this season, so nice job, guys. Now moving on to one of our most favorited fall sports here at Plymouth, which is football. They kicked off playoffs by going up against Merrimack Valley and winning the whole game. The score was 42 to seven, Shout out to Mac, Thorne, Diamond, Russo, and Valenti for all scoring in that game. And next week, they head off to the semifinal games against Sauhegan. So good luck, football team. That's all for the big announcements today. And I'm going to hand the mic back over to the anchors. Go Bobcats. Thank you, Ruby. And now, it seems we've reached the end of our broadcast. Thank you once more to Mr. Salzer for letting us use this wonderful studio. And thank you to our entire media crew for helping us with the broadcast this week. Yes, and thank you to Mr. Fraser and David Kaiser for allowing us to interview them. And with that, bonne nuit, mes amis.